Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Children's Online Sunday School. I hope that you're having a great weekend, and I hope that you are planning to get to church today so that you can see your friends and your teachers and the people that love you here at Hernando United Methodist Church. But I know this is a weekend that a lot of people are headed out of town for spring break. Um, I want you to know that your church family prays for you. We are praying for traveling graces, and we are so thankful that you are a part of our family. We hope that you have a great week this week. If you're not able to come to church, I'm glad that you hopped here onto YouTube to hear what I had to say. You know, if you've been following me for the last few weeks, we've been talking about superheroes. Now, I confessed a few weeks ago that I don't know much about superheroes. Um, I know that my son likes to watch the Marvel movies, um, and there's another one, um, but I can't remember what they are right now. But he likes to watch those movies and he lives with us again. And I've been watching some of the movies um, from like when I was cooking in the kitchen. He'll have a movie going in the living room or maybe I'll hear a movie from his bedroom going. But um, I thought maybe I needed to learn a little bit more about the superheroes. So for the last few weeks, we've been talking about superheroes. I've learned about Spider-Man. I've learned about, um, the first week we learned about Spider-Man. Last week we learned about Batman. But today we're going to learn about one that I actually had no knowledge of whatsoever. The only thing I knew was that he was green and that he was mean. That's the only thing I knew about him. Um, Dr. Bruce Banner. Does that name ring familiar to you, Dr. Bruce Banner? Well, it didn't to me at all. I don't know that I had ever heard that name whatsoever. Well, Dr. Bruce Banner was just a plain old bomb, plain man, until a bomb exploded in his presence. And that bomb made his anger turn him into the Incredible Hulk. Now, I had heard about the Incredible Hulk. I knew he was mean, and I knew he was green. And one time when Andrew was little, he had Incredible Hulk hands that he had. But I didn't really know anything about Incredible Hulk. But what I have learned is that his inner anger, what was inside of him when he got mad, when he got angry, when he got upset, changed what his outside looked like. He would look like Dr. Bruce Banner, when he was normal, even kill. But when he got angry, he became super strong and super green. But you know, as I was learning about the Incredible Hulk and Dr. Bruce Banner, I remembered a man in the Bible. He was also super strong and looked different from other people too. He wasn't green, but he had incredibly long hair. His name was Samson. Samson was set apart as a child to live a life for God. Among other things, he was told he could never, ever cut his hair. Samson was what they called a Nazarite. In Judges chapter 13, going on through to about chapter 16, you can learn about Samson. And I encourage you to pick up your Bible this week and read the story in its entirety of Samson, the strong, incredible man with the long hair. But you, if, if you read your Bible this week, you'll learn that from the time he was born, Samson was set apart for a purpose. He was special. God would use him to save his people, the Israelites, from the Philistines. We've talked about those people before, haven't we? Samson made a few mistakes in his life, but when Samson turned back to God and God called him, God answered and gave Samson the strength to fulfill the purpose that he was set apart for all of his entire life. You know, God can use me and you. He can use us in ways that we never imagined. He's using us right now. He's using you and he's using me. You know, what are some things that you are good at? What are the things that you really like to do? You know, those things are not just by accident. You were made for a purpose and everything about you is done on a purpose. 
And God made you exactly the way that you are for a reason. He can use you. He can use the things that you're good at like sports or being friendly or the way that you're really good at math or taking care of pets, God can use those things. The things that we see as ordinary, things that you like or dislike, God likes them for a reason and for a purpose. And he gave us special gifts and special talents because he has a plan for our life. We've been called and set apart just like Samson was, and we are to use our calling for good. There may be times in our lives where we mess up or sin or do things that we aren't proud of. But God promises us if we turn back to him and use him and ask him to forgive us, that he will use us. He will always make things good in our lives. And he can use us for his special plan just the way that he, he intended in the beginning. So the next time you think about, you know, I'm really good at playing baseball or I'm really good at helping others to understand math. Don't think about it as a coincidence or something that accidentally happened. Just like Bruce Banner accidentally got into a, a bomb that caused him to be the Incredible Hulk. You guys are special because you've been called by God for a special reason and he will use that if we only allow him. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you do for us. But thank you for the special gifts and talents that you have given us and called us apart so that we can use those things for you and for your special purpose in our lives. Help us to see what you would have us to be. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great weekend, a happy spring break, and I will see you real soon.